Hello, hello, hello there and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, it is a very mild Saturday afternoon here in my New England garden and here I am in zone 6 and it is like 71 degrees out, just beautiful and balmy and breezy. And so I'm going to just do some little things, some chores in the garden. I'm going to see if I can finish up some of the work on the side garden here that I started on yesterday and also plant in some of the uh, chrysanthemums, the little ones, and hopefully they will come back next year. Um, I just want to get them in the ground. So come with me as we just uh, tour around the garden check things out, see what's going on, and just enjoy um, this beautiful November day here in Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, it is really amazing how beautiful it is out today. It's just so nice. And what I want to do is uh, work on putting those uh, chrysanthemums in the ground. And then I also have uh, this one over here. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful day here in the garden. And uh, so when it's nice like this, you just want to get outside and walk around and just see what's happening. and. I just really enjoyed working in the garden uh, yesterday. I got a lot of work done up front here. So let's go on up here to this part of the garden and take a look and I'll show you what I did. But then also, um, let's even just stop by here and look at this fig tr tree shrub, which is a shrub now. Yeah, and you know, I am just so amazed at the fact that it came back. I'm just thankful that it returned because as you could see here that last year, these are the stems from the year before. And I think that the um, winter, something shocked them because all of my uh, fig trees, they all uh, did not come back, um, you know, these stems. and. Um, but they all returned back with some fresh foliage, which I am really pleased with. I'm very satisfied to see that. And look at this color here. This is a um, maple, and isn't that beautiful, the color? Now, we've done a lot of work here to this section. My husband did some cleanup here and we removed uh, the pumpkins and things and as you can see my kitchen garden is going to need a lot of work um, you can see the beautiful kale that's there and also the uh, what do we call that again yeah that beautiful beautiful um, 
collard greens that I can still harvest. So I can still harvest a lot of things here and I just need to work at it, work in it. But you can see everything here, right? You can see what the garden is going to look like for next year. And what, it's, it's such a transition between what was and what is to come. Um, but um, I'm really happy with the garden. So let's go on up to that part. Check out these leaves. Isn't it pretty? And this leaf color. Wow, really nice. All right, so let's go on up there and I'll let you see what's happening. So I am going to now go and work on that um, those chrysanthemums back here and uh, get them in the ground. So let's go ahead and get get started on that, planting those a few chrysanthemums in the ground. Let's get that done. So I've dug my holes. And I'm going to just take them out of the pot and uh, just plant them in. It's a little dry, but I'll wet them in. I'll water them in. I think maybe what I will do is add some um, water in before I put them in. Maybe what I should have done was uh, dump them in water first. Let me go and do that. So here's some natural rainwater that I had. And what I'm going to do, just so that they will get a good beginning, just to dump it in some water here, the root ball in the water, and then put it over there like that and then I can just cover it up I think that's better all right so we'll just move it down do the same thing dump it in the water wetting the root ball saturating it 
pressing it in and doing the same thing with this one as well. And then we will just close it up like that, press it in, done. <laughs> this one here too. I think part of the whole thing with gardening is just getting out there and doing it. Um, we tend to make it seem like a really hard Thing to do but when you get started when you get going in the process um, it's not that difficult so here this is the other one and what I'm going to do is just take it out of its pot here see if we can do this one-handedly you can see that it's very root bound here so I'm going to just kind of pinch it a little bit and I'm going to give it some water too. Just, just put it right on in there, let it sit for a few seconds and while that's doing that I'm going to just kind of make this hole a little bit bigger and the way you can tell if the hole is big enough is to place that in so I know that that root ball is going to fit in there really well. And what I will do is just take this up. You see it's saturated. Dump it in like that. And then now I'm going to just uh, put the dirt around it, press it in. And um, what I might do later on is just cut off the the dead spent flowers but since there's a little color I'll leave them for now so now this soil is really good soil because this soil was compost and um, we had put the annuals here that I had planted and I had used the compost so um, this soil is pretty good I think later on what we will be doing is adding some mulch, um, either the bark mulch or leaf mulch to this bed and that way um, the root balls would get it and have a good chance of um, returning back. So what I'm going to do is just use this water here and pour it in. that it's watered in as well and that's pretty much it now let me just pick up my stuff now these containers you can save them and use them next year for seed starting instead of having to buy new pots you just recycle the pots that you've had before That is a wise way of handling, you know, saving money. You don't have to rebuy pots. In this container I got from the Dollar Tree a couple of years back. And it's just very, very useful for get, um, putting plants in, but also because there's no, there aren't any holes, it, I can also um, gather water. Well, doesn't that look good? And remember, imagine that behind it are the tulips, and then there are tulips in between here. So that's going to add a little greenery for the spring as they come up. And then we'll add annuals in between that. So you have your annuals. Then you have the chrysanthemums, and then uh, the tulips. Well, the tulips will come first, 
but then the um, chrysanthemums will be coming up as well. And we also have the hostas too. Yeah. So it's going to be a nice full bed. The whole idea is to have a succession of bloom. Get as much bloom as possible. You see how the leaves are just falling from the trees here? These are the oak trees and the oak leaves are just flying and it's going to be that way all the way through to December. We will have oak leaves in the garden. This is so strange to still have these impatience here. And this is November. So we've been blessed with some really great weather for this weekend. So go on out there, enjoy the sunlight, enjoy the warm, balmy temperature, and also rake some leaves. Get some things going in your garden. And see you next time right here at Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. Hi. For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.